Howdy and welcome to Uprising 144K. Today I want to talk about the dangers of consuming hydrogen water. This is a super important topic because there's a lot of gray area and I've gotten a lot of emails from people, a lot of questions. People want to know what products they can use or what's ultimately safe. So here's the information. You actually want to be really cautious when you're consuming hydrogen water. The problem is, is that there's so many products flooding the market right now. And a lot of these products are actually made in China. And there's a big problem already with products made in China. They don't really disclose what the truth is about the product. For example, they really have inferior metal technology. And so they use these really cheap metals. When you use cheap metals in these machines that are obviously going through an electrolysis process, you're gonna have metal leaching into your water and this stuff can be toxic to you and to your health. Kind of like in the old days where they had these frying pans and when they come from China, inferior metal, the stuff's leaching into your food, it's really bad for you. Unfortunately, the Chinese don't have a really good track record when it comes to this kind of stuff. Because even like, there's been studies shown that baby formula in China has all these toxic stuff in it. It's really, really crazy. And it's really, really actually dangerous because you're actually spending your money on something that you think is going to improve your health. And in the end, it's actually going to be detrimental to your health. And of course, they cheap, so it's enticing for people. And then, of course, you're talking about machines that electrolyze the water. This is really important. Regardless of PEM or SPE technology or any of this stuff, it really is important that the water is not electrolyzed because the science shows that it causes all these, there's all these ions in the water when you electrolyze it, different types of ions. And there's animal studies shown in Japan that it's not good for you. And so it's really important. They're going to have more studies in the future as far as human studies. But if it's already having a negative effect on, on animals, it's already not looking good to me. And of course, it affects the pH of the water. It's not a good thing. It's not neutral. It's not the best way to make hydrogen water. There's very few ways actually to make high quality, good hydrogen water. Now, if you want to make the cheap stuff and just consume it once or twice, yeah, that's fine. It's probably not going to completely make you sick or anything. But the problem with hydrogen is you want to consume it regularly in order to get the really good results. That's what you really want. So you don't want cheap garbage that ultimately is going to be leaching into your water. You don't want electrolyzed water. These things can be dangerous. You also don't want chemical reactions. So they have like these hydrogen sticks. No good guys. They have Okay, they're made from China again, but they have like, for example, they try to tell you that they have magnesium and the magnesium is good and you're deficient in magnesium, but it really doesn't work that way because you don't want to grab like a rod of iron and put it in your mouth and suck on it in order to get more iron in your diet. You want to eat leafy greens. There are different types of iron. There's organic iron, there's inorganic iron. It's not all the same when you just say iron. And so it's the same thing with magnesium. And then of course you have the hydrogen pills. So if you consume these things just once in a while, it's probably not a huge deal and it's not going to be detrimental to your health. But if you want ultimate results, you want to be using something like hydrogen water regularly, which means that you're going to have to make it in a very clean and pure form. And so I wanted to put this video out there because of all the messages coming my way. And I want people to understand that making hydrogen water is not as easy as just putting some water in a container and making it, you know, turn on the electrolysis process. And then, you know, you measure it and you think you're just getting a bunch of hydrogen and it's great for your health. It doesn't work that way. So you really do get what you pay for. And it is very expensive to make hydrogen water the proper way with really high quality metals that won't leach into your water, water that is not electrolyzed. This is really important. So I hope people are able to watch this video and I hope it answers their questions. And so I really appreciate you guys watching. Really hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and share with other people so they can get the right information also. Don't forget to like the video because that makes me feel good and it shows me that you guys also appreciate it and like the video and the information. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time on the next video.